Hey guys, this is Bando Guy 4 with another episode of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. And are you as excited to get done with the sunken ship as I am? Because I really don't like this place. Um, you go back here for the whirlpool. And if you come back this way, you can get a bunch of frog coins. And probably a couple fights. I'm gonna show off Geno World now. Um, against the Krusty. Push the button as the rings leave the screen. 9,999 damage. Guaranteed kill that works on regular enemies and one boss in the game. Probably know which boss I'm talking about, but I'll get into that much later when I actually fight that boss. I'll actually fight that boss twice, once to show you that trick and wants to actually fight it. So Mr. Kipper, please stay away. I do not want you. Yeah. Okay. And then come back this way. And lots of enemies down here. You can use the uh, fact that you're underwater to jump down this entire flight of stairs and just dodge all the enemies. Except for the fish, because, you know, they're actually not lying on the bottom. I just love how articulate I'm already being in this video. So, uh, how are things going with you guys? I get to go have an excellent dinner soon at the deli. But I wanted to get some recordings done before I left. I think I'll probably be able to cut out the rest of the battles. Because I don't think there's any possibility of us seeing enemies we haven't yet. Until I actually get to the last room. Back here is a hidden room with the safety ring, which is even better than the safety badge. It will prevent against mortal blows and a whole lot more. Mm. Sure, why not? I'll give it to Mallow. Um. Poison isn't really something we have to worry about around here, so I'm not too concerned. And once you get up to the surface of the water, you can swim back over to the other side and pick up this frog coin. We're only 17 away from being able to buy that Scrooge ring that I want so very much. And there are still plenty of frog coins left. So in here are pirates. Ah, what's going on? Who are you? What, you're looking for a star? I'll let you see stars, are higher. Anyway, you're out of luck. You see, whatever falls into the sea becomes Johnny's property. Got that, matey? Oh, and one last thing. Read my lips. We ain't letting you through. Got it? Yeah, we'll see about that. I know what enemy these should be. Like, what animal they should look like, but I can't think of it. How about sharks? Wow. Yes, they look like sharks. So I like to use Thunderbolt to do a bit of damage to all of them. Make them a bit easier to take out. Surprisingly, they don't like Thunderbolt. Yeah. All the aquatic creatures are big on Thunder. Those will reach level 12, and that's power. 
Ah, you're stronger than you look. Better warn the upper deck. Come on, mates. Okay, zoom off. I think this is mushroom again. Yep. And if you come over here. Alright, where's the intruder? And they run right over you. I don't see him. Did he get away? There he is. Get him, boys. Here, this is on us. And you just stuck. What the? How dare you dodge the barrel? Hey, how'd you get up here so fast? Well, your luck has run out. We don't take kindly to strangers here. And you get to fight these five of them. By the way, I'm pretty sure Chino War works on these guys too, if you are loving it as much as I do. I just think it's faster to take them out this way. Hey, I got it once again. It's always handy. Him off. So that's all for the small fry. Bowser also reached level 12 and then poison gas. You're pretty tough, mate. Alright, I'll let you through the Chinese place. They're honorable pirates. They're not gonna try and stop you anymore. Um, let's use HP rain just for the heck of it. And I could probably use a few more flowers, so I'll actually go ahead and finally use one of my flower jars. So let's go. So you're the Mario, eh? Ah, ah, ah. Not much to look at. Well, this star fell into my sea, so it's mine. If you want it, you'll have to fight for it. And Jonathan Jones is one of my favorite bosses in the entire game. So, like usual, at the beginning of the fight, I'll start boosting up. I believe they are weak to thunder, so I'll be using Mallow's Thunderbolt frequently. But apart from that, I'm just going to focus my attacks on Johnny. The reason I wanted so many flower points for this battle is, as you saw there, even after getting boosted up, Mario's physical attack didn't do a whole lot. If you boost no one else up in this battle, you want to boost Mario up. Because he's going to be the most important part of this battle. No matter who else is in your party. So, the bandana blues are gone. I'm gonna... Even if Mario is doing that much damage now, he won't be doing it for all that much longer. So just in case, I'm gonna boost Gino up, though I think the first stage of this battle is almost done. I'm gonna use Shocker, and for some reason, ever since I learned it, in, even in my practice file, I haven't been able to get the timing for it. But that's just a half second delay. I have no idea where to push the button with it. And now he's going to use Get Tough. And that means you're definitely close to the end of the first stage. So I'm going to save the rest of my FP. Fwahaha. <laughs> Not bad, fellas. How about it, Mario? Mario versus me. Want to mix it up? Alright. Good fun. And good for you, too. Alright. Here comes my backup. So it's an old style fight. You got some backup to come in if someone dies. And I'm gonna switch to try my uh, super jumps. And hopefully I'll get a lot out. In my practice file, I ran out, of, ran out of FP pretty quickly. And my last couple of super jumps ended up only being one or two. And that was definitely not good for me. But since I got the timing with Gino boost, most of Johnny's attacks aren't going to do a whole lot of damage to me. And I should really stop talking while I'm doing the super jump. Because that messes up my timing a lot.
That was pretty good. Hey, two turns in a row. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and use maple syrup. Stick with my super jumps. Hey, I got a freebie too. But I'll only use that one more syrup if I run out of Again, I'll just switch to regular attacks. And there goes Johnny. Huh, I just saw the title for this episode. I'm impressed, Mitty. You've earned this star. Think of it as a souvenir of our fight. See? I like the honorable guy. time I got left in this episode. I got a few minutes. So, there's star number five. Really getting along in the game. You must have really wanted that star. Now go on, get out of here before I change my mind. Johnny's our main man. He even fights in his sleep. We'd follow him anywhere. Hop on the trampoline in the next room and I'll take you outside. Go on now, give it a try. Now let's find out why that elder wanted the star so very much. So come in here. Hee hee hee. You found the star. Well done. But your journey ends here. You are so gullible. Don't you know who I am? I'm Yuridovich, a member of Smithy's gang. Shocked? It's no wonder my impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. Your search for the stars is worried, Smithy. So if I take that star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. This is the way to get ahead. This people will try and fight me. Just hand it over nice and easy. Now, your instinct is probably to say get serious and not to give him the star. But you get a lot better reward later on if you just give it to him right away. So... Just say okay and hand it over. Seems contradictory, but it's definitely the best idea. Hee hee hee. And to think I got the star without even soiling my hands. I'm such a genius it scares me sometimes. No wonder I'm so important. Alright everyone, listen up. We're returning to the castle. Our ride should be here about now. And they run off. So, we're actually going to have another boss fight real soon. And I certainly can't fit it in, in the rest of this part. So, I'm going to end the episode off here. Uh, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. And if you liked my videos so far, subscribe because there's more on the way. This has been Bando Guy 4 and I will see you all next time.